Hi and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain, and I may or may not have killed someone, I mean obviously I killed someone in this game, but it may or may not have been my son, or at least that's what the original theory was. New theory is, the girl who keeps helping me and healing me, not healing, giving me bandages and a lot of medication, so many drugs, I think she's the killer and she's just enjoying this sick game. Oh my god, I remember this. I, I actually kept playing after I stopped the recording to find out what the hell I needed to do, and it was, um, it, it was, was it this thing? It was, there we go, okay, finding out all locations of all trees, still not the answer. I've been doing so, what the hell is that? That was not there. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. What? That is not what I did last time. Last time it was, um... I had to analyze the tire track which matched the car and then I had to analyze the car again because the track matched. Then I went back to the track and I put that on the map and there was like a bunch of railroads and shit like that and he was like, whoa, brain blast. I, I think I just went down a different path than I originally started. Walking is R2. God, that's what I hate about this game. You have to press R2 to walk. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm still blind, but whereas today is Saturday, Did Mars hold on, let's find out my thoughts, because I'm a little confused no, right yet. now. I gotta find some way to get Mars shit. out of here. Even if we'll there's only a, a one in a thousand we'll chance, he may still be able to I save thought. his son. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. My gut it's feeling is suit, I gotta get him out of here. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I should consult my superiors. I call the press Maybe conference. it... <sighs> gonna kick off no, in one hour. that's stupid. I, I gotta handle this on my back. own. Empty cell. Don't you got it. We actually got his confession. Is he actually... No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press <clears> wants to know. Is he actually in one of these? This one. Ethan Morris is innocent. I understand. He truly but that what he door is he in? Save Sean. What if he's right? It's not where I'm trying to go. I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. Is he even in this room anymore? No, he's not, so I don't know why I just chose to come in here. Oh. This is the other room. So, no, okay, there's no door here. Let's stop recording. Let's go here. He's unconscious on the ground, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, several reasons my voice is deciding to re-enter its prepubescent state. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm still blind, and when it's today, Saturday, I think Friday, is when they do the checkup on me and find out what uh, form of LASIK will be best, because there's two kinds of LASIK, there's, no, three. Has he confessed? Hmm. Not yet. The next is LASIK, and then there's LAS-K. Leave us alone. And then there's PRK. Uh, Lieutenant Blake said to please leave us alone. I said please. That means you have to oblige. Right. Uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Yeah. Can you give me the key to his handcuffs? Like, is that a thing we could have? Nope. Okay. Understood. Well, Christ of the army. Are you all right, Ethan? There's no fun or games. I forgot. I cut off my finger. Uh, I'm innocent. Uh, uh, Okay, guess we're gonna take the handcuffs off. I got you. I got you. You're gonna be okay. We're not taking the handcuffs off, apparently. That was a lie. I was just trying to give him that false motivation, false hope. You know how that is. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. He's dead. I'm sorry to say, but little Sean is dead. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to say it, but Sean's dead. 
Uh, let's see. How can I get him out of here? What would I do? Okay, what I would do definitely would not help. There's a raincoat right here in the interrogation room. Yep, right there. I take this one. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Okay, so... Handcuff. Got it. Along with your raincoat, so... Everything I need is right here. You are so gullible. Even though he really did have to pee. <laughs> and the handcuff keys... Oh, handcuff keys! No, we're not gonna shoot people. We're not gonna pull the Terminator. Which one was that? Just Skynet in a random car. I like your gun. Put this on. You might be able to get that by you know. unnoticed. Oh shit! The It'll keep you warm. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. No, you should still give him the coat. Mm. Okay, he did give him the coat. Gonna find some handcuffs. Earn a ten-year fee. Was it actually just get it? Oh no way! I just got it. Okay. I didn't know that was his desk. I was guessing. 100% guessing. I wish I could say that was all planned. I can't because I'm not the smart. That's why it took me so long to navigate something that's like hologram. You don't need to navigate a hologram. Ugh. Got the key. Probably. Yeah, okay. I did. That's it. You're free. Didn't doubt it for a second. Doubted it for two. I put this on. Nine fingers. Put this Here, on. Put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to He's really not. He's gonna be peeing for like a minute. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop. Don't talk. Don't even think. Fuck. I don't know what to say. Hey. Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope I won't regret that. We will. We will. I will. Because that definitely doesn't look sketchy at all. That's... That is super sketchy. No one just looks up from their desk and they're like... Who's that? That's what you're telling me. They just see him and they're like... Is that Phil? No. Nope. Wise guy. Am I the wise guy? I'm not the wise guy. Less okay, than that an actually hour popped ago, up. We heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Oh my god, I'm sick of this shit. I didn't do it. Oh, why do you just walk in? Are we a thing now? I brought some food. Lady whose name I don't know. Likes, I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Why are you helping me, Madison? Madison, got you know it. nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? You're just adding on to my theory. I think she's really into this game that she's playing with Ethan. And she's so far into it that she loves the adrenaline or buzz, whatever it's given her. I sometimes have these black times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. You can't prove shit! Why are you I hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. 
That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? No one would subject themselves to these trials. Tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't They're keep not like this. Talking yet. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have choice! Madison is not Madison. That Please, is my theory. Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. So while that might be the answer, <laughs> I still refuse to accept it because my theory fits pretty well too. I think Madison is not Madison at all. She's just, she's the origami killer, right? And she's messing with Ethan and making him go through all these trials. And she's getting a buzz or a high or whatever you want to say it is by uh, injecting herself into the game that Ethan's in. She likes the rush of the cops could get her too now if they find out that she's helping him. And uh, the closer and closer it gets to Sean's death, the more excited she gets. But, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess the blackout version works. That, uh, his blackout self is setting up all these trials and testing his love for Sean. Which, I... I guess that one works. I just think he was randomly chosen because of something Madison had to go through in her childhood. So maybe it is, uh, testing the father's love for his son. In a way, this does make me the origami killer. This definitely makes me the origami killer because I'm doing what the origami instructions tell me. People are gonna die now. Because I have to get Sean back. What if Sean was never meant to go missing? What if I just messed something up like I did in Detroit or Until Dawn? What if Sean was never meant to go missing? What if Ethan was meant to go missing? Hi! It'd be nice to be able to see without contacts or glasses. Stick around. Stay tuned. Manfred. Because after this video, Manfred. what is this, 6? Episode 6? I'm home? doing something incredibly stupid. Okay, typewriters. Nice. I actually like the sound of the 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 cl clickety clackety sound that the keyboards make. I don't know why. Just it's like what's the word? It's stimulating. It makes me think a little more. And then add some monster and those thoughts. I let clickety clack it goes a lot faster. But I would never actually get a typewriter. I make way too many mistakes. I go back and I fix things way too many times to actually own a typewriter. Hello? It was crazy to let her come with me. Hello? I was trying to help out, but she just gets a... Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Oh. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. 
How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks. Any human. I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the base? Oh. No, I quit. I'm a private. No, I'm a chef. Uh, uh, this is Lauren. She's a uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Who well, I told she couldn't well, come and she did. This calls for a celebration. Does it? I've just a thing. Champagne. Wait there. Ciroc. I, I'm sure I <coughs> I saw a bottle Don't of scotch drink. around cool. here somewhere. Yep, yep, uh, whatever your name is, Manfred, I hope you don't mind if I have a look around. Do uh, I just want to... favor, would you, Scott? Tell them to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Where's your phone? There it is. You have an old phone. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. You're welcome. Job is done. Is that so that you have plenty of time to attempt to kill us? In which we'll backfire completely and get only you killed? You're drinking, right? Well, it's gonna try and kill me. Friends. Oh, is that how you drink a shot? Is, it, is that a shot glass or whiskey glass? Stop touching things. Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Hmm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Nice? Question mark? Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Right, that's why I'm here. Look. That is a very stiff paper. Could you pass envelope me the uh, things. magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail. Me. He's gonna rip it up as I go to get it. Where is it? Where is it? From behind the counter, you say. Behind the counter. This is the bathroom. Ah, uh, there it is. Got it. First try. First place I went. Zero deaths. Except for who I'm about to kill. I wonder who I'm gonna have to kill. Did it actually give me a name? I wasn't paying attention to if I had a name. Well, let's see what this Thanks. envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Okay. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say Damn. many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> no, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. You keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who okay, pay. Good. Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. If you're not in a hurry, okay. Thank you for being so compliant. If you weren't, I'd have to kill you and take it. Bought a Royal Five or or had one repaired. 
Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You know what would be terrifying? If he said, give me two minutes, I'll be right back, and the counter showed up. You think the killer's been here? Probably. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get this. Ethan's innocent. He doesn't have one. I mean, we in the beginning of the game, we were in his office. He has uh, kind of like he has futuristic things. He doesn't have typewriters. It's later ages that he has. I mean, he's an architect. He doesn't need a typewriter. Why do those glasses never empty? What kind of glasses are those? <laughs> right, right. Okay, walking around. Well, two minutes up. God, you're so slow, old man. Do you need help? Like, do you need help looking for it? I can help you look for it. Where'd you go? Or are you just gonna be well, staring went into at the wall? Oh, let's take a look. Oh my God, I'm trying. Hello. I'm trying Manfred. so hard. Hello. Your call is lost, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir. Hello. Okay, you guys all saw I didn't do it. Those eyes closed. Really weird. Um uh but let's get that book though, because we do need that book. I uh, I I'm not panicking. I'm not starting to panic. I'm definitely starting to panic a little bit because now people are probably gonna think that I did it and as an investigator they're gonna be like, Oh, you're you're not with the police, so you're not stop. Back away, Lauren. Your name's Lauren, right? The killer Back away. already called the police. He was just on the phone with the police. Scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? Yeah. We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out the of police time. Police don't know that. Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? We have to shoot each other. Without killing each other, we gotta shoot Watch each other. the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came. I'll shoot you first. You better work fast. The police are going to be here anyway. Oh, good thing you touched everything. Okay. Uh, first thing that was touched was, or the most important thing that I really feel like would be forgotten. I mean, this is second right here. Oh my God! There's so many things that I really touch everything. That one's not even mine. This is bullshit. I didn't touch this one. Oh, that's not how you clean something. You were definitely holding it with your other hand. Okay, this one is mine, so this one does have to be cleaned. I didn't touch the bottle. I never touched the bottle. I did touch the magnifying glass, though, so I don't care about the bottle. I honestly could care about that. But Lauren decided to walk into the shop and immediately pick up... Where is it? Right here. Right, right, right here. Right here. This little ballerina figure thing. She touched it. What, what else did I touch? I touched a phone. Stop with the music. I can barely hear it, but it's it's not helping. It's gonna give me a panic attack. Then I touched the other phone in that office. What are you doing? Yeah, that's gross. You know, if I could run, I would definitely be running. If I could also walk in a straight line, that would be great. God, I've had way too much to drink. Phone, 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 where the phone go? Holy shit, where's the phone? I think that's everything, but if I still have time, I guess I can go clean the bottle now. Oh my god, Scott. This is how people die. I did also touch the bathroom door, but I'm not gonna go clean it. Scott, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. No, I'm done. No shit. Almost yeah. finished. What else did I touch? Yes, I got all the prints. Let's go. Stop doubting me. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Unless you touched. What else did she touch? Oh 
Oh no, I did forget about the handle. I don't think that's gonna matter. The door handle. So, I mean, honestly, if I was you claim the detective, I definitely would check that. Shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't say anything to a police officer. I or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? What was it? I think it was the door handle, because it definitely wanted to zoom in on that. Well, well. And be like, hey, you forgot something. Trouble again. Shut Both up. Wrong place. You know Can I punch like? him? Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old times' sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you. Sure one. you will. You want anything at the moment? No, I don't. Well, I got some ideas. <sighs> Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it. What you got? Sure. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're your partners, remember? We you. Carter's the killer. Off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. And I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my sense killer. You're not. It's not the stop. button and to press, but I guess that works. And you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car! What the fuck? Hey, hey, damn, stop. Stop touching. God, Lauren, everything you touch. Get out. I don't want you in my car anyways. As I was saying. Yep, you're gonna die next. I can see this already. Spending quality time with the uh, latest victim. Do you even know where you are? This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Are you just gonna stand in front of the car? Is that a thing you're gonna do? It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her. Like She's that. standing in front of the car. You, you can't leave at all. The guy who killed her son. Bless America! Anyways, Carter's the killer. Carter's the origami killer. He works in the police department, and those questions he was asking him, very suspect. Let me know when you find anything concrete, because obviously then Scott's gonna have to die. Hey, hey, Lauren. Lauren, you wanna get warm? Miss him. Just kidding. Calm down. Billy, that flurry. Miss him so much. I'm not sure how I feel about this rain. Do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I mean, you still can. It's gonna be a little bony, but this is weird. I'm sorry. This is weird. She's standing on the rain. I gotta get her back in the car. It's just. I'm not gonna kiss her though. I'm... No, we're not doing that. Don't try and hold my hand. I'll break your fingers. Give him to Ethan, because he's missing one, so. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, just... Man, oh, man. Okay. Man. Ethan's not the killer. I refuse to accept that he's the killer. Even if he is. He's not the killer. I mean, he's a killer. He's not the killer. 
but Carter is very suspect, and so is Madison. So one of those two is the killer, unless both of them are the killer. Open the door. Come on. It's only gonna hurt a little bit, man. Woman, who am I killing? Yeah. Man. What do you want? You're rock star. Got it. Oh, fuck. Oh god. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want? Go? I'm probably gonna need all of that. Tell me what you need. Sure, we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Did you really just miss with a shotgun? You know how next to impossible that is? Oh god, hey, there's too many buttons. You need to stop right now. Hey buddy, we can we, we can talk about this. I pressed the wrong button. Did you hear it? I definitely pressed the wrong button. Still panicking. Oh my god. We're going through your house? We're in your bathroom now. Dude, I'm gonna have to shoot you. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm less sorry because you're shooting at me, but I'm still sorry because you definitely don't deserve to be shot. But you're a dealer, and that's all I've gotten about you is that you're a dealer. You have a really big house, by the way. I mean, for like an apartment, kind of. This is really big. That was a window. You know how expensive that shit is? Hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, words. You have kids. Oh, jeez. You're also out of ammo. Guess who's not? Guess who's not? I give you whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. No, I've realized that. These my girls, see. As I've run through your house. There's one Sarah. And the one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. But I have no choice. Oh, I could have framed that. I don't mean the camera thing. I could have... I could have negotiated, probably. I could have been like, lay down, go get... We're gonna make some fake blood. Gonna put it next to your head, make it look like I shot you in the head. Or the chest. Gonna make it look like I shot you in the chest. Just lay in your stomach. Why are all the next clues so close? Like, have you noticed that? And why was that one so easy to access? Like, if you dropped the gun at any point in time, you would have found it. I definitely just killed someone. What do you want? I don't care. We could have staged it. That's the word. We could have staged it. Hey, killer guy, are you feeding him? Because it's been... It's been days. I mean, obviously he has water to drink, but... It, Still don't know that first one. I know the rest. The bottom part is Roosevelt. Wait. Stop. God. It's not Roosevelt. It's something else. Oops. Who's, who's... I don't know. God, I'm trying to think of that. I do feel bad. Yes, I do feel bad. Because I could have staged it. He was begging for life. Oh my god, choices were made. Uh, what's up, suspect number one? I don't need that trophy. Thank you for having that trophy appear, but I don't need that. Thank you for reminding me. I was, you know, just. Mad? <sighs> I got your information. Processing. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. 
He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marvel Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan Don't went off his finger lives like here. You're hunting. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Cause you're a killer. I wasn't looking at her butt. Stop looking at her. God, you're so. Hi. Uh, Are you gonna I shoot him? I was told that you could get the tropin. Without a prescription. Sorry. You were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. <laughs> Break your I, fingers, I old man. I need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Okay. I totally feel comfortable. So, you're looking Huge for a I don't feel comfortable. Idea. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, I just want the drugs. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Nope, I would like you to stop touching me though. That would that would be appreciated. You're making me drink anyways. So how about you give me your cup? Because mine is obviously laced with something. I haven't seen you around here before. Can I just pour it on the rug? Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I mean, I'm definitely not going to give him me, but I you, heard you, know. you had some apartments for rent. <sighs> I'm looking. Sorry, Dunn. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around. Marble Street? That should have all been gone. Having some trouble? Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! That was so easy to see! This dude's a creep! I really didn't need that. Thanks. You're a dick. Mm, you're a, you're a dead. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn governments. Hey, I'm not with the government. I just want the drugs. Oh. So you're interested in my marble suit? <laughs> I read it to my friend Paco. Okay, we're we're gonna try and get out the other way though. He does there. Tiny human, do you mind? I'm trying to get free, and it's not helping. To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his. I'm gonna keep screaming until you threaten to cut out my tongue. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. 
I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hey, hi, no, put that down, please. We can talk about this. We can talk about this. Use your words. Hey, 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 Sean, 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 Sean. Uh, God, there's got to be a way out. Sean, Sean. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't notice. And be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Please be Sean, please be Sean, please be Sean, please be Sean. It's not even real screaming. Are you gonna try and break it? We really can break it. Trust me, I've tried. It's not working. Got, gotta look around. Gotta, gotta look around. Trying to break free. Nothing is working because I can't get out. And I'm strapped to a table so it's not working well. We'll try our feet that don't look tied very well. Hello, oh, maybe I can start screaming out here too. Selling Bibles. That, that's not gonna work. No thanks, I love it. I imagine if he started and he was covered in blood and he answered the door to the man who was selling Bibles. God, these stupid ropes! Thanks a lot, but I don't need any. Get off! It's not coming off! Come on, you've got to be kidding me! It's gotta be something around my legs, because that looks like a child attempted to tie it. Oh, wait, I think that one's working. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, slow, gotta be slow. Oh, he's coming back. This is not going well. Slowly cutting the ropes. How do I get this up front? Oh, please don't come back. Sorry. I detest being interrupted when I'm on. Okay, okay, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Well then. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. I will kick you in the face and I will laugh while I am doing so. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. There's some days when I seem to be the most... I don't even know what that was, but I'm about to get out. Two seconds. Thank you for putting it back at my feet, because now I'm going to kick it up to my hand. Watch. Ninja skills. Get that shit off. Screaming, so he thinks I'm still actually in danger. Whoosh! I said whoosh. There we go. Oh shit, it's supposed to. It's supposed to. Oh my god. This is going well. This is going so well. No idea. Now we're gonna try some possible buttons. Oh god. My finger slipped off. Hold on. And circle. And triangle, right? Triangle? It's triangle? Nope. Okay. Hey, I didn't cut that one. Nope. Back up. I will kill you, Dr. Mario. Did you just throw your drill at me? Oh shit. That was close. I mean, I understand you just upgraded to a better weapon, but you just threw a drill at me! Alright, gotta press this 4,000 times. Flip! Oh. Ow, did you just cut me? Ow, shit! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. This is really messed up, dude. Stop! Get off me! <laughs> Good job! Oh, I didn't move. <laughs> we can talk about this. We're not gonna talk, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna tie him up and I'm gonna drug him. Stop! Reaching. What is that? God, why are you grabbing all these weird ass weapons? Going the wrong way. I don't know why this game accepts things so easily. Nope, nope, get off. Get off. Oh, cool, I punched him in the face. Now I feel better. God. Stop. Just stop touching me. Ow. That one really hurt. Oh, now I'm dead. You killed me. I'm dead now. Did I say it was? Oh fuck no! Get off me! No! No! Mm -mm. Nah! <laughs> no! No! Stop! 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 
No, no. Where's where's the hidden blade? I'm gonna drill into your head. No, I wanna drill into his head. That's not his head. It's his chest. And he would still be alive, actually. But I, I don't care. I feel better now. <clears throat> he touched my butt. I guess he would be dead. Yeah, yeah. Because I was drilling. I think she kind of like spun him around a little bit. <laughs> Just going to take the drugs I want. Blue Lagoon. It's a nightclub or something? Well, that was... That was an adventure. That was, that was a thing. That's all the time we've got for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm King Lucid, signing off.